Hi and welcome. Today I'm really excited to talk about this um, this concept or this idea, whatever the lingo is. I'm tired. It's my last day as a clinical specialist. It has been a journey, man. It's been real rough, but it's also been such a joy and so inspiring as well as such um, a crucial role in my decision to go back to medical school. So today I wanted to share about clinical specialists. What are they? What do they do? And um, why haven't I heard about it? So if you're like me, um, you didn't even know that these positions exist. Like healthcare, like other roles in healthcare, there are a million things that you can do. One of the things that I'm super passionate about is helping people realize that doctors, MDs, DOs, nurses, nurse pracs, um, physical therapists, OTs, forgive me if I forgot your um, specialty or your area of um, professionalism, but they are all important. They all play a really crucial role. So that's something I want to really embody as a physician, but also throughout my career is really help better that. I think in curriculums, they've gotten really good at that. But anyways, a clinical specialist is another role in the healthcare field. So if you were like me, you didn't know that any of this existed. You didn't know that this is a possible career choice. A lot of people that are clinical specialists are people that have gone all the way through medical school, all the way through nursing school, put all the time, all the effort, all the sacrifices, and realize, you know what? I don't know if I want to do this anymore. And so a lot of them go in to be a clinical specialist. So my question is, are there a lot of people out there that are going pre-med and may not really get there or get into medical school, they may be just as happy doing this. And if you're in the same boat as me and you're in medical school and you're like, you know, I'm not sure if this is what I wanted to do. I took a year off for, um, for medical school to really make sure it's what I wanted to do before all the debt, before all the sacrifice. Um, and I'm thankful because I was so focused on the goal. I didn't really know it's what I wanted to do. And it was where my gifts and talents that God has given me are best suited. So. I want to help people understand that these are positions out there and I want people to know about them. Um, a clinical specialist is a specialist, just like it sounds like, in something clinical in terms of a service, a treatment, therapy, something that you can deliver to your patients. You partner with a physician and you work with them, with their patients to deliver a service. And it's generally through a company um, that trains you. So. You interview for the position, um, you are sent off to training, it's a mini medical school, no matter the type of clinical specialist you are. And after that training, you are put right into the um, healthcare clinic environment. So what does a clinical specialist do? I've kind of narrowed down, it's gonna vary from whatever you specialize into, which if it's an implant, if it's a, a device, if it's a, a treatment, whatever you do, um, it's gonna be a little different. But I think it really comes down to three things. One is physician relationships. So building relationships with physicians, with other clinicians, with other parts of the healthcare system to deliver your service to your patients. And um, you're doing this to better people's lives. And I think a lot of people go to medical school because that's what they want to do. They want to better people, people's lives. And um, so that's really rewarding. You have to build relationships with your physicians. They've got to trust you so that they will allow you to see their patients. It's really what it comes down to. Another thing that is really important as a clinical specialist is patient education. You are, I want to say 80% of your time is an advocate and a specialist that is educating your patient on a device, on a treatment, etc. And so I love that part of my job. Part of the reason why I left for medical school is I love teaching and I've got a knack for it. Um, and that was great. It wasn't like a classroom, but it's one person. You see them constantly, you see them improve, you see the light bulb go on, and it's for a better quality of life. And it's just really encouraging. The other part of your job, um, other than educating and building relationships with physicians and others, is going to be being a specialist in whatever you decide to do. So you are a patient advocate. You are the person that spent a whole two weeks, a month, however long the training session is, this is something your doctor may have touched on for a week in school, maybe a couple of days, um, and you're a specialist in it. And so that's what's really neat. You get to advocate for your advocate for your patient. You get to deliver the service and do all um, that technical stuff of your job, if that makes sense. So you've got to learn how to do it, and you've got to know the specifics and everything. Um, 
So that's really what it comes down to being a specialist, a clinical specialist. This is a really good job opportunity. You can make a very good, decent living. It can be very little or it can be very high depending on the area of expertise that you get into. These positions are generally really hard to get into. So it's more about who you know than what you know. But I didn't know anybody going into mine. I just had somebody say, hey, maybe you should try this out. So anyways, I hope that that's an encouragement to you. I hope that whatever you're pursuing, you're doing it because it's something you're passionate about, but more so something you feel called to. And as I um, continue to make videos about my medical school um, experience and why I decided to go this route and all the obstacles that I've gone through, I hope that you're encouraged. So I got cut out because I was blabbering on. I'm not sure if you learned anything, but anyways, I hope that you're encouraged. And like I always end my videos, I wanna share a quote with you. And um, this is something that was written on a board, on a whiteboard, and it was, um, eagles may soar, but at least weasels don't get stuck in airplane engines. We'll take it as, it as it comes, but it really also comes back to you in Ecclesiastes. I wish I could tell you the scripture, but don't spend your life chasing after the wind. Um, I think that's really important, just like the eagle is important, and everybody may be giving um, reverence to that, and look how amazing it is, but the weasels are at least on a list of riskier routes, um, and they all play an important role. I pray for you that um, you are encouraged and that you are really trying to find uh, something that you believe you can do. Pray about it and start working at it. Start finding things that you could do with where you are and what you can work on. Um, and I hope that you learned a little bit about clinical specialists. And I'm excited today's my last day, one day closer to medical school. All right, till next time, please subscribe. Um, I will talk more about substitute teaching in my next um, video. All right, bye. Sorry, this is rough. There's so, it's so dark in here, whatever.